numbers like that, and I know they're not accurate numbers right now, but then when I'm reading something like that, the critical thinker in me says, okay, from when to when, you know, like, you know, what is the start date of what you said is your, you know, the number that you gave was 10.6, where did that start? And then you say like, oh, we're at the lowest. And it's like, okay, but you know, there's, you know, a lot of times it's just like a stock market where it's a graph, it goes up and down and up and down. And you could say that from any point on that graph and you could, you know, say a decline or, you know, later in the same day, you might be able to see an increase. You know, I mean, not with unemployment, that's something that's, those numbers are, you know, more sustained over time. But, you know, a, a lot of times, like, that's where I ask where my bias is coming from and say, okay, what's my source? You know, where does that come from? Because like you said, you can get that, you know, similar information, but just presented in a very different way. Yeah, I agree. To, to John's earlier point about trying to find the truth. I mean, that's what we're trying to do. Like I'm a business enthusiast. I care about America. I want to know what our unemployment rate is. I want to know if it's up, if it's down, how, how is the economic recovery actually looking? So, you know, I do that work for an hour every night to understand in that specific circumstance, understand what's the actual, what's the, I'm looking for the truth. Kind of what John said, you know, I look up to Drew in that regard and try to be like a, I'm not a scientist. I would never, never, never qualify to be one, but um, yeah, just trying to get to the truth and understand like what's really happening. So we do all that work for you. So might as well share it with the world and help them make it easier for them to understand that as well. So that's, yeah. Try to Tim, I, I know you're saying you're not a scientist humbly, but you are thinking in a scientific way, um, which is just a, just a truth seeking way. Because I also noticed the other thing that happens in, in your newsletter is you don't get, um, this feeling of celebrification where it's like you're, you know, putting someone up on a pedestal or like kind of like, you know, um, a fan of so-and-so or a fan of so-and-so. And that doesn't happen in a, in a more factual scientific type method. You're more focused on systems, the economy, here's what's happening, here's what so-and-so said, you know, um, not, not like building up personalities or, or, you know, building up the celebrity of people. And I think, I think that's important because, you know, that stuff's fine for rock bands or rappers, or, you know, if you want to be a fan of this or a fan of that, but when it comes to politics and civics, I, I honestly don't even like the word politics. I, I think of it more as civics because civics is about the processes of our government that you can examine more in that, in that scientific way. And I, I know people might get you know, a little scared when they hear scientific, but it's a, it's a scientific style to it. Um, but politics is more about the personal agendas within the arena of the civics. So I know we call it politics in the news and all that, and it's, that's kind of here to stay for now, but just to have that distinction and you guys fall more on the civics side of it. Like you're just reporting, here's what's happening. Here's the way the process is supposed to work. Um, and again, I always end it with have a nice day when I'm, when I'm turning people on to your newsletter. And by the way, it's Monday through Friday. It's about, mine comes around 6, 15 AM every day. And it's just a one newsletter a day, nothing else, nothing else comes in my email. And I hope you guys start doing a weekend edition at some point because <laughs> I miss it on the weekends. Um, but, you know, I, I think th the bottom line is that, you know, it, it puts people in a position to be more healthy, to um, process information. And just like a better diet, maybe get your, maybe get your body in a, in a slightly healthier um, condition. Um, a better information diet, we, we feel very strongly has the same effect. Yeah, no, thank you. Like we're, we're thrilled to hear that. It's our, we work really hard and uh, wake up really early, not me, but certain people wake up very, very early to. to yeah. So yeah. That's our mission is just, just report the facts, let readers come to their own conclusions, help them be smart. So that's why we, uh, we get out of bed in the morning to, to, to help the reader. You, you mentioned like who we put on a pedestal. It's not celebrities. It's not politicians. It's the reader. It's the consumer. We're trying to help them. And that's who we're like, that's our, that's who we serve, right? Without the reader, nothing matters. You don't have, you don't have customer revenue or, or growth or anything. It's all about the reader and delivering them a, the best, the best pro, uh, product we can. So yeah, that, that's who, that's who our pedestal is.